friends, is crossing generational boundaries. Joshua chapter number 5 from verse number 9. Joshua chapter number 5 from verse 9. I'm basing my topic this afternoon how to overcome shame. How to overcome shame. That word reproach also stands for shame. So you can you can get another translation. Let's read we can read all the translations. Now the Bible says, Then the Lord said to Joshua, And this day I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. Therefore, the name of the place is called Gilgal to this day. Can you read another translation? Let's read all of them. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Can you read it please loudly? One, let's go. I have rolled away the shame of slavery in Egypt, so that this place has been called Gilgal. Psalms 126. Let's read that one. Psalms 126. Aha. Uh -huh. Can we read it, please, all of us? Mm -hmm. uh, you said verse number one. When did you answer? When did you answer? Ah. Can you read it? Read it. One, two, let's go. Mm -hmm. Verse number two. Mm hmm. I'm only listening. What is happening? Can you read all of us? Can you read all of us? Why are you not reading? Because now we get the boy, 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 Because if you don't speak it, you will not get it. Uh -huh. Can you read it from number one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what? I said, what is what? I want to talk to you shortly this afternoon about overcoming shame. Overcoming shame. I can't explain and I cannot even define the word number one, shame. Though it means a cover up or an enveloped thing that is hidden in a man's life deeply, but it is not outward. I don't know if there's any of us in our midst who has ever gone through any act or any event of shame. There is nothing as bad as shame. Either for a family. There are people today. I 
I've heard stories so unasikia watoto wasichana sana sana. I don't know about boys. Mama hao does not have nice clothes. Mama metoka from the village. This is woman from the village. And she doesn't have nice clothes. She doesn't have good hair. She doesn't have very good things. There are those women who are committed for their children. When they hear about visiting of the schools. Mama na pika ngwashe. Anachukua turungi ama uji. That's how your mother was visiting you. When she's coming for visiting. Hold it. You hear about visiting. Leave alone this nonsense of today. One guy. One, one, one. The entire family you are harassed. They start cooking at 4 o'clock in the morning. They are going to visit one guy in school. A visiting day. The man spends over 5,000. Hunga chapati tano. Sijui mufuko tano. We went one day. One of our friends. Akatuchukua visiting one of his kids. Somewhere up. Hema simewekwa. Chakula sinatokota chini. And the other children. Wale amba wana watoto. Yani awana wasasu wao uwa well off. Watoto wana pita mbali mba. So the other one wana wa invite. Wana wambia. Can come to kule. So shamelessly you walk. In that place. Unakula. And then again you are very careful. Am I right? Am I talking to somebody here? You are very careful. How you do. Otherwise if they look at you for the second time. Una change. Yeah, I mean, shame. Sometimes when your mother or your father has brought something for you, you are unable to open up during the weddings. When I was doing my wedding, nobody from my village who brought me even a gift, even a toothpick. Nobody. I didn't have anybody who came. Was extremely miserable. I don't know where confidence came in me. I was afraid when people were giving gifts because the majority of people came for our wedding. 99.9 percent .9 came from my wife's side. The few guys I went to were from here. The few ones, the few ones, were less than one percent. So when they were giving gifts. I was also there smiling. Sasa, now when you are those people, and that's why there are things I don't easily do. Sasa, tunataka kukaribisha watu wakina gijana wakuje waleta zawadi. And I thank God that day. God blinded the mass of ceremony. He never remembered me. You are joking. I'm saying the truth. He never he never mentioned that guy. If you know this guy, I got Dan M. We the man I and it was Dan M. Dan M was uh, was uh, was a master of ceremony. At the same time, he's the one who sang in our wedding, big time too. So they were announcing Sasha to an attacker, and things were working so fast, fast in a sense that, that at least in one way or the other, I can escape shame. Tell you never escape. Wakatangaza sasa he sosho wa kwao harakuja haramletea zawadi sasa e, watu wa kinadada na marafiki zake watu wote wanakuja wanaleta zawadi sasa ni kipindi cha ndugu na yeye pia tunataka watu hao na ndugu zao maybe you are married and you are a brother and your mother and your father they don't have anything maybe we have a place where we can plastic you know just other people need a plastic mark yeah, that's the gift they have and they have wrapped it and shoved up and they have only one and they are coming joyfully they are presenting the gift yet kwa kina muschana baba nakuja Hey, Muriega, 
Baba yako anakuja. Amevaa viatu usiku kama samaki. Yaani mko tu menemene tekeli. Yaani unasikia Jehova, "Why can you open the ground and swallow me?" And then he can resurrect later on. Tell your neighbor shame. Unatetemeka. Na hiyo vitu and God forbid mimi nikifanya kwa harusi kwa hii kanisa Mungu aliepushe hiyo vitu na mwenye maso msara mnazijaribu hiyo vitu sema haleluya sema ame people always naturally naturally they have eye alafu wakitokea hapo inaweza sema eh kwa kile mwanaume kwa kile mwanaume na that's why harusi yetu irisha fast touch inaitwa one touch double manifestation by 2:30 It is gone. By three o'clock, everybody has eaten, disappeared like electricity. Last, the spirit of Shemana wataulisa where Sema Shem. People ask, I've seen girls, kwanza ladies ndio kuna hiyo maneno, mama yao anakuja wanamwavoid shuleni kabisa. Mama na futa mtoto wake ako na ngwasha amechemsha ako na uji unanielewa and mother she so happy tena alinunua nyama robo akakaranga kafulae ndio ikasiharibike unanielewa na marafiki sako na moki mama yao na baba wamekuja na kuku mzima wamekuja na ile ile kitu inachemsha inaitwa nini ile unaweka vitu kutoka chini inaendelea kuchemka inaendelea kutengeneza Eh? Microphone. Microwave. Mama yako ameweka tena ameweka kiondo hapa nyuma, amekelea hivi, anakuja, anakutafuta kwanza wasichana kama kiranduta. Ndio the very demonic process. Anaona mama yake, anaona hana saluni, hana makonge kwa kichwa. Mama ameweka kiremba, mama wenyewe ametoka shamba. Anamuhepa kwa watu sema mama yako hapana huyo ni aunti yangu mama alikuwa ameenda safari ni aunti yangu how many people have called their mother aunties eh? tell you about them sema sem sema sem eh? unafika kwenu msichana anakupea pressure anakupa stress umekutana town umejieleza maneno mengi unajieleza au kwenu mko sawa mko naendelea vizuri you are doing very well now the time of reckoning comes anakwambia twende kwenu naambia tutaenda tutaenda analeta pressure twende mwana sema twende tunaenda kwa nko yako mnataka kumpeleka unapiga simu kwa in advance hello wakati bibi yangu alisema anakuja kisi mwana nikafanya pressure shokwa napumua mara 20 sema okay ambia uko serious unataka kukuja nikaona kama ni story nikasema okay kaambia fare ya kutoka Nairobi kuja kisi ni that time ilikuwa for ilikuwa for fifty baby ulipata pesa ngapi wewe unajua gekom my brother nikafanya masoesi nikaenda prayers yangu father i pray it is true na sasa nikauliza Mungu nimekataliwa na wadada kwa bidii tena huyu anakuja kujua kwetu huyu ndiye ataepa zaidi kuliko wale wameepa hivi those who are have never been in my home they have rejected me and disappeared what about this one who come to collect evidence from the ground I This one is dangerous. I went prayer. Eh, sikuyo ni kwa prayer for my friend, wanza kucheza na mimi. I prayed. I prayed all the tanks available. Kakuja. Eh, hello. Nimefika stage. Kwenu ndubi no is there no brother no mother no father nobody grief siku huko ni mingi sana kuliko manyumba 
Nikili muonaje akaambia kwetu ni huko lakini wewe ndio ulale huko huko. Tedio ni bashe. Mwambie mwenzako share. That is exactly what the Bible says. Joshua and the rest of the children of Israel after coming out of captivity 400 years spent on slavery again these are the same people who went again in the wilderness spent another 40 years 40 years and let me tell you one of the most dangerous things that happened to a man how sometimes shame shame can take you through the process of a long time you can be in one place for a long time so you am i talking to somebody here Yani, if you are doing some work that is not even profitable you stay in one place the two number chapter two verse number three even god himself came and said you have stayed in this place for what i said for what for too long you stay you are in a, an office in a place you are working in an office a place where people are coming junior officers are going up every now and again Every now and again, they are rising up ranks and they go up. They rise up ranks and go up, and you feel like, ay, ay, ay. The Bible says you have been doing what? You have been wandering around in this hill. Can't you alone? Please, long what? Long enough. You have been here for long enough. And the Bible says, and the God talked to Joshua and says, Joshua, now. Time has come, and I believe even this in this church. Enough is enough. Enough them. Enough this affair is the end of it. I say enough is enough. We have gone too long for a place that we have never made any progress. God shall give us a grace to advance. I say God will give us a grace to break heaven. Hey, Shem. Muto na kuwa idu naenda America, my friend. How many have been promised America? Here. Usiogope kuinua mkono. Usiogope. Mimi niliaidiwa America 1998. Baada kwa kokoka nikaaidiwa America mwana. Yaani nilikuwa nasoma inaitwa ilikuwa inaitwa poverty escape route. Unaelewa? Yaani I knew if I go to America, if I am in America, unajua mtu ukiambiwa America na upata dada mwingine naye kuna madhatizo, unamwambia unajua nasikia kwenda America na nasikia kuoa. Unaona nini? Wale wamekukataa sana kwa bidii. Ukimwambia brother, saa hii wewe ndio upate green card ndio unajua mababepo wewe utangaza tu mimi nipata green card mimi ni Obama officially. Ndio unajua madimoni wako hivyo. Ndio unajua how handsome you are extra. Wacha sasa hii. Wewe niandike tu jina langu. Ama msedubi na kwaje? Ama inaenda kwa msedubi? People can announce. Now imagine you are told there are sisters there are ladies who have waited for a man to marry them from America. It's now 10 years. Shem. Shem. The guy has kept the woman for 10 good years. You keep on telling. Mtu unakuja kutongozwa na mtu anakwambia ngoja. My fiance is in America. My fiance is in America. Mwana First year kila mtu anakuheshimu hata ndugu una, yani una raise value hata akienda kunulia chai kuongea tu eh uko na fiance America <laughs> okay <laughs> all right all right hata chai wewe unuliwa hata kumeletwa KFC hapa inaitwa K inaitwa Kentrack inaitwa Kent Food Corporation International so you are no longer buying so somebody says i'm going to marry you i'm from America it's an American I've, 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 there's a lady i know who even died waiting for a guy from America 12 good strong years from America hey. Hey. that you wait for too long that's what the bible says and God told Moses these people they have been going around this mountain for too long it is time to break come and i pray that every shame that has ever ever entered in your family God shall give you the grace you shall be the first person God shall give you the confidence you shall break for the grace and you shall advance for life you shall advance for life hey there are people you cannot introduce them into your relatives bwana siwe sana aibu 
Una siku chawa zilinikula. Sema chawa. Sivyo anajifanya atakuwa walikuwa wasafi sana anasema chawa ni uchafu. Si uchafu brother. Ni demon fulani ilikuwa imetembea. Waja kujifanya hata wewe sikukula. Kwa nini miguu iko hivi? Kwa nini kwenu kulikuwa na uchafu? Sasa jamaa kijana mmoja tukiwa tumesimama parade. Unajua parade mwalimu alikuwa anakuja kwanza Monday morning. How many were being checked on Monday morning? Eh? Were there some seven Monday morning? Teacher anakuja parade anatembea. 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 So one day I was standing. Kumbe chawa unajua unachukua hivyo na style. Unajua uko na chawa unachukua na style. Unachukua na style unachukua ni kama Waja kucheka Gladys ulikuwa kwa hiyo. Unachukua style. So kijana mmoja akatoa chawa mwana hapa. Kake. Tena. Tule tusichana nilikuwa na tunaliingia akaniekelea hapa. Pa. Wameniona. Nilitetemeka nikasweat. Nikasema sikuji shule kesho kabisa kwanza I want to get the strategy on how to start again or I change school. Mwambie mwezako shame. Please talk to somebody tell him shame. This conference that we are coming in it is about crossing those generational boundaries. When we have stuck for too long, God start give us the grace to cross over. They say we have been stuck in 1000 feet. God start give us the time. It's a shame that you can Ukisikia watu wanasema juu ya pesa mamalia unachisikia kama unatoroka ba unasikia yani you cannot hata watu wakisema eh eh oh what was 55 bob one day i was in a meeting where people were being prayed for and they were giving money so when they were giving one what what 2000 3000 4000 oh eh, 500 100 walipofika wale watu wa 50 50 bob wakatokea hapa nikauliza mwana yule mwenye alikuwa anawaambia anasema mnaweza waombewa na mwingine e, wale wa 50 bob i join you later nikauliza Jesus of Nazareth i know ni aibu ni nini mwambie mwezako aibu jamani sema aibu Ay. sema aibu and God say to Joshua that Joshua you have stayed in this place now from today when you are crossing over you are doing what? I say you are doing what? I say you are doing what? that today that as you are crossing over you shall not cross with sin and I prophesy to someone in this ministry I say I stand in this altar of Jehovah himself that God who has taken me out of sin brother one day a man was preaching in our place i was a hooker the guy preached and say now i want to pray for people who have this kind of an offering the guy was asking a particular offering and you know what i had mzendubi in my pocket that time i had come from nilikuwa na uza njugu mwana nimetokea niko na 20 bob na jamini jamaa alimalizia so mbili akasema if you don't have 200 you're not going to be i will never forget that preacher in my whole life And that's why everywhere I preach I will never put a limit because I don't know how God has blessed me because what God has blessed I don't talk about the 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 the, the, the actors those ones who are stingy you know that people are naturally demonically satanically agentically connected stingy unajua can I call his nini umebakisha eh umebakisha kadiki eh ni kama wasema mkono birika hata wasuri wasema uko mchoyo kama yani kachai unakapima badala umwagie mtu wako na njaa mkono birika bado ipande na ukiangalia ndani iko so this guy prayed he called i can't remember yani i can't forget the touch 1997 the guy preached he preached 
can he say, I want to bless people. I want to pray. And that's why I am so indebted with one guy, Richard Mayanja. He prayed for me. A prayer without any attachment. He prayed pray for me. When everybody could not trust me, the guy picked me out of the ground and said, I want to pray for this man. And he, no, I was interpreting for him. I said, God will make you a great man. Even everybody scorned me. Not you say you. There's one guy I was interpreting for. You want to interpret here? Mimi nimefanyiwa vitu kwa sisi zaona hii dunia ya Jehova. Nilikuwa na mwinterpretia huyu jamaa akasema Mimi sina nguo mzee ndupi. Nimevaa slippers yangu. Nilikuwa na slippers. Ni niko serious. I was committed even as poor as I was. Very committed. Nilikuwa nimevaa slippers ya red na blue na nimevaa t-shirt nyingine ilikuwa imegaa kama Rastafari and ilikuwa red, yellow, green hapa hivi. A t-shirt to this point and I got a polo t-shirt. So there when I was preaching, so the man was preaching. I can't forget that guy. When, when I was preaching, I was saying, the Bible says, I was saying, hey, hey, hey. Hapa kichwa nilikuwa sawa. Ni nguo sina na viatu sina. Ni matatizo tu inanitesa. Lakini niko sawa. Mwajua the guy turned on me and said, Wacha kunifuata fuata hapa. We kaa uko nyuma ya drum. You look very shabby. Nani ya mereta uko tafsiri hapa? Anaka kama Christmas tree. Nani wajua? For the second, there's a brother very tall, like my brother here. Very tall. I borrowed him a tie. So, what can I do? Tell your neighbor, shame. When people say, You need strategy to run away from shame. Strategy. Strategy. Because I borrowed that brother tie. The guy was tall. 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 Very tall. Very tall. Tall. Half of my, my size. Akaniambia ni megupea ita. Akaniambia. Alinipea tie na kunionya mwana. Hey. Munaombaga vitu sana. Hata vitu zingine ya ziombu. Ni megupatia ita. <coughs> Uona tumia hiyo jumapiri. Arafu unaniretea. Na una nirudishia hiyo tai. So siku moja niko hapo na tai ya wenyewe. Nimejitahidi tumesimama na wadada hapo. Unajua uko vijana unajifanya tu unajua sasa unajifanya vile kwenu muko sawa umevaa tai. Unajua kanisa ina rais watu mnakaa level moja. Huyo ndugu akakuja bwana mzee ndubi. Akaniambia nilikwambia mkimalizaga ibada hii tai unanitoa unanipatia. Niliingia stress mzee. Nikaingia nikatetemeka. Ndiyo ni katafuta mbinu mpia. Ni kasema sita omba tai. Sasa kitu ndafanya. Na tatafuta nguo zile ziko na call around. Katafuta mjaruo moja fundi rafiki yangu na ito uma. Kama umbio uma ni pime ishingo. Naona kama hindi ovasho ni mpia. Sita omba tai ya wenyewe tena. Sabu ndugu wa meniaibija marambiri tena kwa wadada. Na unajua mu, hakuna kitu kinaibija mwanaume dunia ya Jehovah hii. Hata kama umekopesha mwanaume kitu. Umuitishe mbele ya mudada rafiki yake. Hataona ni kama mbingu ngefunguka. Umumeze akuje badai. Ama? Ama inakuwa gati? Uonye mwanaume mbele ya bibi yake. Ile pesa ni mekupatia. Unirudishi yake maramoja. Mamu umesikia? Uambiwe bwana yako asikuwage na vitu za watu. Chineke bobo. Unaweza sikia ufanya sama solta hapa kama hujaifanya soma unaweza fanya kama mara nne ulize okay. Lakini unajua wanasema kwamba a, a borrower is a slave to the what? The lender. You are a slave. And a slave has no capacity to attack the what? Okay. That man, let me tell you, shame, shame. Tell your neighbors shame. shame. Please tell him shame. 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 It's a bad thing that 
happened. And God said to Joshua, from this day, from what? And I pray and I shall stand from this altar. I open my eyes to speak this word. The 2016, let us brush them in your heart. Let us brush them in your heart. Brush them in your business. What that brought them embarrassment? It is over and over forever. As it is over and over forever. I have run away shame out of your life. Out of what? Out of your life. I have friends, some who identify themselves with big names. Big names. Big names. Could I don't know the Family, I can't So you could identify themselves with the Nyandusi. But you look at the Nyachai's family. You look at the and the same is one who can Nyachai. You look at him and say, Hey, Mwana, I don't go to see what can Nyachai. I want to come and work in Nyachai. He is serious. He didn't. Listen to this. I want you to write these things down. We finish. And then, if God gives me opportunity, we we'll go to deal with these things called. Shame. Different types of shame. Number one, the one when you hear people call you, shame on you. Shame, personal guilty. Personal guilty. Things that are happening in your life. Things that you remember. Even when you, have you, have you, have you ever been in a place? Unonoka, angadia watu wengi sana. Hata wada wajai kwa nakitu. Akiwa wamepada mtu, hata kukula. Unonoka vile mtu wanakulaga. Unaulizo kama umeshiba. Mekula kwa wenyewe mzendubi. Mekula kwa wenyewe. Unakula kwa wenyewe. Wenyewe wanamaliza araka. Unajua taki kutafuna ugali ya raka raka uonekane kama wewe ni mulafi si kweli na utaki kuchelewa wote kwa meza mzima brother wamemaliza kukula wewe ndio umemaliza hapa hivi watoto wa wenyewe waanza kuuliza yani e, unakula mingi unamaliza wao wamekunywa chai saa kumi. wamekula mandazi saa saba. wamekula hata kabra wajamaliza sasa wanagusaka tu si kweli wewe ndio umetoka kichichini brother njaa iko ya watu 28 unaangalia ugali unauliza Mbaka unatamani unauliza <coughs> Tukuongeze Una, Unaongeza tu kama kapusi eh, Hakuna shida eh, Kuna watoto wali nitezaga Mwana mbaka nika, nika make sure Sikuli kwa wanyewe tena Ukiona siyendi kwa watu raisi brother Nafuta na, 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 strategy ya kuenda huko Tunatatajalaka na bibi yangu Webe upendi kuenda kwa marafiki zako Upendi kuenda kwa watu Upendi webe webe Unataka watu wakuje kwako Unataka watu Mbia Hebe mbia 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 Ngina na nyamazaka Mbia dada Ujue Kathu kama uja kama weku nitoa Nini kwa mwekwa kwa 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 mwromo Eh unakula sana Mimi nimekanja mzendubi Two days Umepata ndi ugali kwa hapo na watoto wanyewa na bakisha. Nona wanatena wanakura na ovyo ovyo. Unakuta unakata unayekerea unangichiongezea. Mbaka wendi unakuwa sinema. Wanakuangalia ukula. Ama ujawai pitia yo vitu. Eh, Kwenu mulikuwa matajiri kitogo msendu. Kwenu watoto. Mama wa nyumba kitawa kukutuma. Uja una, una, una ingia hata kwa, hata, hata kwa, 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 kwa nyumba ya mutu. Unakaa kwa kiti, unakaa hata kama ni soba set. Kwenye umijai kariya soba set. Unakaa hivi ni kama, unakaa hivi mwambia. Si ukaa hivi suli, supumuzike. Unapumuzike, lakini unapumuzike, upumuzike huko kwa tense. Kwa sababu ya aibu. Sema aibu. Yonambia wa dada, mimi mtuata kita mkanzo, ni mwambia wacha kutesa ndugu. Mungu wanaeza muficha, haka muinua siku ingine. Siku heli. Uliza bifengu wa kwapa, mimi ni mweleza ni... Nili risk mzendubi nikafanya, lakini nifanya prayers kwaza. Niliona vile nakataliwa, una, unajua umei kataliwa mbako unakataa kukataliwa. Unakataliwa mbako unakataa. Nili jifunga nika muambia sikiriza dada ni kuambie. And I know you are the only now the last stage. Siendi tena stage ingine. You are the last one. Ati nenda prayer. Mimi ni menda prayer ni kamaliza. Kamuambia ujue kwetu iko hivi. Wata wata ni kuambia sasa kwetu. Maana wendi umeamua kuhuja kwetu. Mini kwa nafikiri tunamalizia na hivi tukule Nairobi kila mtu wafanya vitu zake tujuane tuko tauni. Unajuhi? Sikuna wato wajai yenda hatha kwa wenyewe. Sini kweli? Unapiga simu unambia. Ewu muambia anko tutakuja kwa ke museme ni kwetu. Lakini tunakuja na kuondoka. Tazire muko 
Arabu aibu ni aibu. Sasa zile muko muko mmekaa 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 katoto kanakuja kale ka, ka, ka nini? Mani huyu ni nani amekuja kwetu? Kai Jehova. Sikia kutetemeka unaweza nini? Unafunga unafunga macho ndio usione. I find I kill. Sasa hiyo una sweat. Now right right down. Right down. Shame on you number 1. Number <coughs> Number two, in it was spiral shame. Spiral shame, the one that overflows. You are not part of it, but when people talk about it, there even is a, this can be a community shame. People ridicule your community. People talk about you. People talk about the certain characters of your community. And you are part of it. You feel ashamed. There are places you cannot identify yourself. There's a time wakati wakisi walikuwa na chomwa suneka sana, sana wanachumwa sana sana tena mpaka ikatangazwa BBC ikakatangazwa CNN tena kwamba the, the night runners in Kisi people are killing each other and is ukiwa okay, Nairobi sasa hiyo ndio sijaoa mama dia anasema kweli nikaanza prayer prayer kauliza Mungu nipe strategy ndio dada nataka kutongoza lakini nitasema mimi natoka wapi maana kule nikisema natoka kisi watu wanakula watu jehova who can accept the daughter to be married by money it has you kind of prayer and fasting hey ina itwa a spiral shame a community ama niaje siku na mali faith unafikanga watu ukitaja mimi ni mkamba oh god hey wakamba okay nikauliza mwana na siku hiyo bibi zili tangaza kwa ilikuwa mwaka gani sisi the suneka the sun the famous among many other but the one which was so common was suneka si ndio walichomwa wengi sana mpaka wa mpaka mpaka ppo the all country security system si ndio they descended on that village to go and stop them but people don't stop and that time my brother i'm not married na huko nairobi unakaa mahali watu wadha hey 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 kabla zingine haki tena sasa hiyo mnakaa hivi hey kuna siku moja tulikuwa kwa nyumba na bibi yangu tunakaa hapo news ikakuja news eh nyamira mchawa amechomwa kachomwa nikachifanya sijaona Nipona mkikuyu huko maongeke wanapigana ikamwambia mami kuja kuja uone vile wa kuyu wanaibia watu akaniambia brother na wale walikuwa wanachoma kwa nini ulichange channel ya K24 eh nilikuwa nafikiria ni nilikuwa nafikiria hajaona tulikuwa mezani tu hivi tunaona news flash zinaingia hiyo sasa hiyo <laughs> write it down we will finish that one there's what you call inherited shame tell you about inherited shame mwambie mwenzako inherited shame we are going to talk about this one mimi niwaambia guys church we will teach i will teach you until you get it sidi kweli bwana yesu asifiwe kim huko bana aibu wakati umeoa dada mnatoka mnaenda kambi kuna jojo mama christian Hebu niambie ukweli kabisa ulifiri aje hebu niambie waza kunificha mimi mimi ni mimi rafiki yako ulifiri aje umeolewa mpaka umuulize yani wewe una anko yako mwenye yako hata milimani hapa unanileta na akuru unanipeleka kwa kambi si ungenipeleka kwao yani ama lakini si alishangaa kauliza aka ka survive yani hata kana akana brother ama Unataja ndugu zako wote ni walevi kila mtu anakuja mnakutana. Yaani wewe wewe mwenye unakuwa unakala mbili ndio wa muhimu sana kwa familia. Mnaenda ku introduce sema wewe ndio umekuja hapa. Salimie dada. Mbona unauliza huyu ni ndugu yako? Hapana, hawa ni majirani wanakuaga hapa. Na mbona mnafanana hivi? Hapana, uncle zetu wanakuaga wengi hapa around. Usiwe na wasiwasi. Usisumbuke na walevi hata unajua walevi wanapenda kuchisema sana. inaitwa inherited shame see see akwa bwana yesu sana i have read this one i want the 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 impost 
There's what you call impost shem. I want to put a comma on that one. The impost shem. And then the last one is the institution of shem. Whereby, like now, kuna watu, wana ibikaga sana, akisimama hapo kwa mulango, akiulizo kwa mayuni kanisa enu. Apana, mina somaga hapa. Na kwa haka, kuna mama moja liulizo kwa siku ingine hapa inje, ati, unandaga kwa hiyo kanisa? Apana, mini kuwa naenda tu hapa juu, na alikuwa nakuja hapa. Na we mama kwa hiyo kuja dena church. Haka sema, mimi sikuwagi hapo, kwa hiyo kanisa, apana. Mana, alipata nduku mzuri, the, the guy was a, the, guy, the, the, the lady was a luo, and the guy was a luo. Na ni wa katholiki wa crossroad. Ina ito? Holy cross. Alimuliza, hey, na angwa. Ati kanisa, apana, 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 apana. Mini kwa napita tu, nilikuwa nakuja kuona mtu hapa le juu kwa reli ndani. Na ukweli ni hapa alikuwa nakuja. Anaibikia vile kulivyo si kweli? Wewe si kuna nini rafiki yako alikuuliza ka ati hiyo ndio kanisa yako si ndio? Because kuna una, unajua ukisema sasa hii kuna watu wanajiidentify na kingdom seekers kwa kimani sio kwa sababu wana, wanaipenda kwa sababu vile imejengwa mwingine akasema unajua kanisa yetu siku tumeweka carpet unajua kanisa yetu tu yani unaji una, wewe ukimuuliza like now you guys you cannot be ashamed bwana asiwe sana uwezi aibikia church kwa sababu you can stand today and say from where we have come from and where we are we know the story we are walking and we are marching forward no more shame i say no more shame i say no more shame right to papa you know the issue of this church and you cannot be ashamed bwana asiwe sana si unaona kuna watu wanaambia mtu anilikuwa anaenda hapo chini how many people carry even the bible carry the bible wengine openly unabeba bible yako wazi unatembea nayo town uko na unakutana mtu akudia unatoka church tena very joyfully yes natoka kanisa unaona mtu amebeba magazeti mbili taifa leo na 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 taifa leo na nini na 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 star anasoma akikwa ndiye anakuwa mkubwa hata anakutana there's a preacher ni kukuta ako na magazeti tatu Nikamwangalia nikamuuliza brother you are very silly. You carry three newspapers no bible around you. Ati ya bible kwani mtu anabeba kila mahali. Kamuuliza ukibeba hii magazeti yani umewekelea hapa ndio watu wanakuheshimu. Jo inakuwa nga inaitwa institutional shame whereby people associate you with a particular place because of shame. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. I want I want us to finish this we are not not finish we can't finish the whole of it but you can only talk about the same thing about shem hiyo ambao nimekwambia different types of shem wakati aibu hizo zinapokuja katika maisha ya mtu mara nyingi sana shetani huwa amefanya kitu kimoja anatuconcentratea anatuondolea hiyo guilt hataki tujue that you can come out of that shame when that shame is there when you see people talking watu wakiongea ama wakimnoonezeana because of that spirit of shame is on you it says now they don't like you they are talking about you they are gossiping about you and you become because that spirit of shame is very bad very what very bad very bad unaona hata joseph wakati ndugu zake wamekuja alienda in advance kwanza amwambie farao amwambie bris brother mzee ndugu zangu wamekuja na baba yangu na baba yangu ni mzee sana alianza maelezo mapema let's you forget baba yangu ni mzee sana na wamekuja akauliza sasa unajua aibu hebu imagine ndugu zako baba yako wote wanakuja kwa nyumba yako peke yako how do you feel hata bibi yako anakuwa anasikia ati mama lilian the whole family ya kina bwana yako wakikujaga wote kwa wote wote baba mama wote kila mtu wanakuja na wa, na hawajakuja siku moja wamekuja kukambu hebu niambie ile tension inakuwa nayo kwa hiyo nyumba si makoza mwanaume unaona anatembea kwa nyumba hii nyumba tumejaa sana mtu akikoa kwa choo unaona mtu anakuombana sasa watu wanakaa kwa choo hivi na mimi nasemanga anakueleza alitoa hii aibu pereka mahali pengine transfer dishe Mitoto vingine vimekuja labda ni vya dada yako ama aunti yako vinakuja vinafamia ugali kabla ya kwa meza vimevamia hapo viko kila mtu vinajiu. Sasa inabidi mwanaume mama ukiwa mwerevu wewe unachonga ya mwanaume unamwambia nitakuletea hapo bedroom. Na viko hivyo nasema anko atijashiba anko. 
Yaani mpaka hiyo jina anko inakuchosha. Unajua hivyo? Unauliza mbago alianza kwa wachoyo zamani eh <laughs> si hata ndubi ni hivyo kwenu wachukua kikija hapa hivi watu utachukula kweli tazo wana wale wazee wa zamani walikuwa wanapikanga wale wanaoa wanawake wengi kila mwanamke analetaka ugali analetaka ugali kila mtu analeta hakuna mtu anasema ati yule alipeleka huyu asilete kila mtu analeta ndio watu wote wanapita kwa barabara fine Sema sitaki aibu. Unua mkono wako sema sitaki aibu. Sema mimi na nyumba yangu na kuomba Yesu uniokoe kutoka kwa roho ya aibu. Sema tu kwa miguu yako. I want us to pray this prayer. I want us to make this prayer. And when we make this prayer, I want us to make it passionately from our heart. How many are ready for this crossing uh, uh, boundaries where we are crossing the boundaries of shame, crossing those boundaries generational and helter shame when we got it listen to this look at this look at this the first genesis of shem started in the garden of eden are you are, are you there are you there are you there the first shem began at the garden of eden where the bible says and the when god came at the cool of the day he came to fellowship with adam and eve the bible says and adam and eve says god we are running away Shame makes you run away. Make you what? Unatangazia watu. Unajua mimi naishi na akuru, mimi naishi na akuru. Aafu mtu kutoka kwenu kaeka maga. Na unajua vile walio wa Edu wanapenda. Hello. Sasa nimefika eko, niko eko hapa around about eko. Kai mwana. Eh. Hey. Hey. Atimu da change line siku tatu. Wani ndio ngapi tumekutana na wao hapa? Clovers ndiye anadiriki na wao most of the time. Mbaga Clovers anakuwa msamaria mwema wanafuatanaga. Ah? Mwingine watu wa Kinandirangu wa Ngarua ni watu eh maiti imehitaji tu shilingi 200 tu. Mtoto amekufia tu kwa mkono nimeweka hapa kwa moche. Wa Kinandirangu ni wale nimefikeko hapa na basi kaniecheko hapa. Si ndio? Wakinangarua ni wapi? Maiti nimetoka prison. Yaani tunajua kila mkikuyu ametoka wapi? Mimi nahitaji tu fare ya kwenda tu daya dikifika tu daya dafika jumbani ama Ni kwa nini? Wak Wakale wakinarere moyo siku hizi ni unabii. Nimeoda bwana amenionyesha nikapita tu hivi roho akaniongoza akanivuta. Bona roho kuvuta police station amekuvuta. Mbaga wengine anambia Glovers wapeleka polisi ndio kuna nini? Sindio hapa kuna kitu za tujawa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Wakisiwa kina ndubi ati wanajua nilikuwa nimeshikwa na malaria hata nikawa nilikuwa nalima shamba anakuonaje vile ako na bidii na bado ni mkora tu kawaida hapa town. Mmoja amekuja hapa kanidanganya nikamkuta hapo chini hapo hivi. Anasema omogambi tuko tu pamoja ambia pira is stupid you come to con me hapana nilikuwa ni njaa tu basi ni pole tu hivi kamuliza ulima kwa shamba yangu that's why i'm very hardened Hard, hapa pande jaji vile kwa nani mwingine kuna mwingine ule mwingine kuna mwingine nitumie edward juice kaambia muombee umpige power lakini muambie hapa hapa bila si wanasema si micro finance organization ya charity sweepstake Bwana Yesu sema aibu sema aibu eh? unaishi nyumba unaambia watu unaishi Nairobi na unaishi Kibera nyumba raini sababu huko chini mahali maji mnaenda mutoni unaenda huko katuwekera chini yani hey. kuna watu walikuwa naambia kwamba tuko Nairobi lakini akikuja kutafuta ukijua anakujua mahali huko Unamwepa kama mara 25. Naambia mkiona mtu akiniuliza hapa msijaribu kuambia mtu kama mimi ninajulikana. Yaani una change jina. Unajua mimi siitwagi hivyo. Sasa wengine watu wako na majina hii town hapa usikirie ni yao, zio original. They are running away from I say from where? 
Siku na mama mmoja hapa chini anaitwa kama jina nyingine ni mksi mksi tu lakini anaitwa majina nyingine mama yake mzazi alipokuja akamtaja live le pa 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 kamuuliza na wewe unaitwa eh, akasema eh naitwa hivi unajua mimi ni change na watu walikuwa wananisumbua kutoka nyumbani sana na wapata hapa kila siku sasa mimi nitafanya nini Unatangazia watu unaenda unaenda mashambani unajua ukiwa unajua ukiwa, ukiwa na 500 mashambani ni pesa mingi sana si ni kweli 50 bob kila mtu unakadha nyanya yako unampea 20 ana mwanangu hata mtoto wangu amekuja sasa hivi hata amenunulia chufi amenunulia sukari unajua hajui ni sukari kiasi gani alafu wanakufuata taoni wanakufuata hapa taoni wanakukuta tena ukudhani nao bahati mbaya unamwambia simama hapa ni ngozi unaingia kona mtaonana next year Sema aibu.